Uh, we are going to walk you through all of these new plans. Uh, political reporter Theo Keith is live at the Capitol to do it for us. Theo? Well, Minnesota is sending out this week the most vaccines that it has sent out so far. Seniors will get a third of them, their best chance yet to get a dose. But this rollout continues to be plagued by two problems, a lack of vaccines and bad communication. Minnesota officials plan to get 35,000 shots into seniors' arms this week, the most yet. To do it, the state is cutting all 10 of its two-week-old pilot sites, then opening two new ones in Minneapolis and Duluth. The vast majority of vaccines will go to more than 100 local clinics, hospitals, or pharmacies. The state launched a new online tracker to find them. But Deb Kevney, a pharmacist who's on the list, said the state didn't give her a heads up the website was launching and she didn't know how many vaccines she'd get. So my store this morning has been receiving hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of phone calls. When are you getting the vaccine? When can we book an appointment? Um, I feel tough for the people that are calling us because we don't have the answers because we didn't know that was going to happen. The vaccine lottery is not opening this week to new signups. The Minneapolis and Duluth sites will randomly pick from the 220,000 person waiting list. The better option is to check the vaccine finder for a location near you, then work through your own health system. If you're a teacher or child care worker, you're supposed to go through your employer. We're trying to be more clear with folks about all the various avenues that, that are now and will increasingly become available to get vaccine rather than waiting for a community site. If you already got a shot at one of the pilot sites over the past two weeks, you'll still get your second dose at the same site. About 40,000 shots were given at the pilot sites over these past two weeks. This week, Minnesota is sending out 98,000 doses across the state. A little more than 50,000 of them will go to health care workers who are still remaining to be vaccinated. Another 35,000, as we mentioned, will go to seniors. The other 11,000 will go to teachers and child care workers. At the current pace, it'll take several weeks to vaccinate all of these priority groups before the state is able to move on to other essential workers. Live at the Capitol tonight, Theo Keith, Fox 9.